Hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 The word says that the Lord our God is almighty. Yes. That the Lord our God is omnipotent. Yes. The Lord our God, he is wonderful. Yes. We sing praises to our Lord on this morning. We ask you to join us. We welcome you to our broadcast, to Lighthouse Apostolic Faith Church. We want you to join in with us as we worship the true and living God. If you have any prayer requests, we ask you to type your prayer request into the comments right now during the song so we would know how to pray for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Salvation and glory. Honor and power unto the Lord our God. For the Lord
us back into the house of prayer. Yes. Coming before you, Lord. Yes. I'm a Lord. Yes. Seeking your face this morning. Yes. We thank you for you have allowed us one more day. Yes. One more time you've allowed yes. us to be here to worship your holy name. Oh, to yes. praise you and magnify your holy name. Yes. Oh, Father, and we ask you right now, Lord, yes. to ask you to remember the bereaved families today, Lord. Yes, Lord. God, remember the Adams family. Yes. My sister Tina's sister, Lord, yes. the death of her sister. The other Adams family, Lord yes. Jesus. My brother and his family. Yes. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you right now. Yes. The sick saints. That's all over, Lord, the sick people yes. suffering from this COVID virus, Lord. Yes. We ask that you would touch and heal, Lord. Yes. My God, destroy the, the virus in their bodies, Lord. Yes. Return them to your house this day. Yes. God, we pray like that right now, Lord, yes. for the leaders, Lord, for the new president of the United States, Lord. Yes. Oh, God, the people have spoke. Yes. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let there be peace yes. in the White House. Yes. Let there be love. Yeah. Let there be joy. Yeah. Hallelujah. You know yeah. that the righteous yeah. should reign. Yeah. That the righteous should be in charge. Yeah. God, we pray right now. Yeah. And we thank you. We we'll give you honor. Yeah. Remember our neighborhoods all over, Lord. Yes, Lord. Remember our speaker today, Lord. Yeah. Ella Perham, Lord. Yeah. Remember our past in this town. Yeah. In the name of Jesus, yeah. we thank you right now. Yes, we will forever give you the honor and the glory. Yes. Both now and ever. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, Lord. We're reading your hearings. Psalms, um, Second Samuel, 23. Verses 1 through 4. Now these be the last words of David. David, the son of Jesse, said, And the man who was raised on, up on high, the anointed of the God of Jacob, and the sweet psalmist of Israel, said, The Spirit of the Lord spake by me, yes. and his word was in my tongue. Yes. The Lord of God, of the God of Israel said, yes. the rock of Israel spake to me. Yes. He that ruleth over men yes. must be just, yes. ruling in the fear of God. Yes. And he shall rock, and he shall be as the light of the morning. Yes. When the sun rises, yes, even a morning without clouds, yes. as a tender rain, yes. may the Lord bless us the reading of his word. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Good morning, everyone. I will read our announcements for today, November the 8th, 2020, the second Sunday of November. Praise the name of Jesus. We bring you greetings from Lighthouse Epistolic Faith Church, where Elder Levi Adams Sr. is the pastor. You are currently tuned into our live virtual Sunday afternoon worship service. Before we go any further, we ask that you take two seconds to share this live service right now with everyone in your context. Let everyone know that Lighthouse is on the air. On behalf of our pastor and First Lady Tina Adams and the entire Lighthouse Church family, we would like to say thank you for making Lighthouse Virtue Service your place of worship this Sunday afternoon. Please feel free in taking part in our freedom to worship God with our whole heart. We pray that something will be said or done to make your praise and worship an experience you will never forget. If there's anything we can do to help you in your walk with Christ, please feel free to call us at 773-488-488. 5696 or email us at lh at aol.com. We will be happy to write down your concerns, take your questions about the Bible and prayer requests so that we will know how to pray for one another. If you would like to mail in your concerns, questions, or prayer requests, we are located in the Chatham community at 7759 South Everhart Avenue, Chicago, Illinois, 60619. It is now offering time. If you want to donate or support our ministry, 
You can do so now through our electronic giving. Our website, lhfxsolid.com or cash app, dollar sign, Lighthouse AFC Chicago. Again, the website is lhfxsolid.com. Our cash app is dollar sign, Lighthouse AFC Chicago. We want to welcome you to be a part of our weekly scheduled virtue services. You can follow us on YouTube and you can find us on Facebook at Lighthouse AFC Chicago. Our YouTube services are posted on the next day. Again, you can follow us on YouTube and you can find us on Facebook at Lighthouse AFC Chicago. Our Sunday school service began at 9.45 a.m. Our Sunday morning service began at 11.30 a.m. Acts Pastor Tuesday Bible study began at 12 noon. And on Wednesday night, we have Bible study that began at 6.30 p.m. If you have any questions for Tuesday's Ask Pastor Adams Bible study, you can email us through, uh, throughout the week at lhfxsolid at aol.com or call Tuesday mornings between the hours of 9 a.m. until 11 a.m. at 773-488-5696. Your questions will be answered every Tuesday during the 12 noon Bible study. To be a part of our prayer lines, please dial in on Tuesday morning for the 6 a.m. Community Intercessory Prayer, The Call, where we are interceding for our nations, leaders, the body of Christ, and families. And for the month of November, our theme is The Body of Christ. Our Wednesday night war, worship and release, Prayer service begins at 6 p.m. The number to the prayer line is 978-990-5000. Again, the number is 978-990-5000. The access code is 872-207. The access code again is 872-207. We want to say happy birthday to everyone that will be celebrating the, a birthday in the month of November. We have Elder Larkin that will be celebrating on the 22nd, Deacon Rodney Harris on the 21st, Sister Mamie Bradley on the 19th, Brother Robert Goggins on the 15th, Valerie Anderson on the 19th, Paulette Byers on the 13th, Priscilla Newby on the 14th, John Montgomery on the 27th, and um, Sister Irma Anderson who celebrated on yesterday the 7th, and our late Deacon Chester Sutton on the 28th. And we would like to say happy anniversary to Elder Knotts and his wife who had an anniversary on the 4th. We would like to continue to remember all those that are on our prayer list. And let's also remember those that are going through bereavement. We have Deanna Miller, the Love family, um, Sister Ed Doran family, the Tiles family, the Gill family, the Ford family. And we also have the Robinson family and the Adams family. Let's remember those announcements and we'll now say amen for our pastor. Praise the Lord, everyone. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord again. Hallelujah. Can you hear me now? Amen. We are so grateful to the Lord for his manifold blessings that he continues to show towards his peoples. And we don't take this lightly. We appreciate what God is doing in the life of Lighthouse. And to all of the saints that are at home watching us, uh, by live Facebook, Facebook Live. And we pray that the Lord Spirit will move even as it's doing now in the sanctuary. But the Lord, that it would move in your heart and in your home, wherever you may be. We thank the Lord for all of you. We love you, Lighthouse. And we ask you to continue to remember these requests that has been made known the sick, the bereaved, those that are struggling in their walk with the Lord. Remember those that are on the altar crying out for God. We, if we ever needed the Lord, now is the time. Yeah. If we ever want to seek him, yeah. now is the time. The writer said, call upon him while he's near thee, he's nigh thee, even in thy mouth. 
God can fill you with his spirit right where you at. You don't have to be at Lighthouse. You can be in the secret of your bedroom, your living room, and you bring God a broken and a contract heart, and you'll speak in tongues just as sure as you're living. God will fill you with this Holy Spirit. He's no respectable person. And we thank God for his great love. Yeah. We thank God for those that helped to uh, make this, this, this virtual service to be a reality. That we are able to come into your homes and throughout a way of a Facebook Live is shown. We ask you to continue to remember the First Lady uh, in the loss of our last sister. So she's the only one that and her family as the female. So we ask you to pray for her. Pray to God. She's strong. But even in those times, we have those hours uh, that we need God. And we all uh, have experienced this walk in life. And that's why we are to pray for one another. We're to love on one another while we have life. Amen. And we just thank God for his great love. And at this time, we welcome you to the Lighthouse uh, Virtual Church. All of you Lighthouse, just give a shout out. And yeah, while you're at home, just give a shout out. Amen. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. back to old school days when we just had our hands and our feet. Hallelujah. Amen. And we have the beat of the drums to bring forth praises unto the Lord. How many know as a preacher preached last week she said I'll never forget, always remember. And we come to you this morning with the song Never Shall Forget. Jesus, I'll never forget what you done for me. Jesus, I'll never forget how you set me free. Jesus, I'll never forget. How you brought me out. Yeah. Jesus, I'll never forget. No, never. Join in with us as we sing praises unto our God as we lift him up on this morning. Amen. Jesus, I'll never forget what you've done for me. Jesus, I'll never forget how you set me free. Jesus, I'll never forget how you brought me
God that's been a keeper. You've been a God that's been a heart fixer. You've been a God that's a mind regulator. Lord, we will not forget. We will always remember. And that's because we remember we always will sing in our souls. From the depths of our souls, we'll all be, be crying out. Oh, God, you are a faithful God. You are a holy God. You are a righteous God. You are worthy of all the praise, all the glory, and all of the honor. No one is due the honor and praise. It's you, Lord God. We thank you on today. We praise you on today. We ask you, oh God, to be with us. Come on and say hallelujah. hallelujah. Nobody, Nobody like our God. You can search the world all over. There's none like it. Nobody can deliver you from your sin. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Said I'll never forget. Jesus, I'll never forget. You know, let us be honest with ourselves. I don't know about you, but sometimes uh, we start looking at our status in life. And, and, and we kind of get caught up in things that we have accomplished. And, 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 and we, we start getting lifted up in ourselves. But I dare you. Hallelujah. I double dog dare you to think back yes. on where God brought you from. Yes. You might be flying high when you thinking of yourself. But when you look back on your life and realize what God, the changes God has made in your life. Hallelujah. You won't be flying so high, you'll come down. You'll come back to the earth and realize that if it had not been for the Lord on my side, I'd have still been in my seat. If it had not been for the Lord, the Lord had brought me. I never will forget where He brought me from. Don't forget. Don't you forget what God has done in your life. Because if you forget what God has done in your life, my sisters and brothers, you're headed for the fall. Jesus, I never forget what you done for me. I never forget when I had to take happiness. Tried to stop, but I couldn't stop. But oh, long came Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. He broke the shackles of the chains of sin. Yeah. Yeah. Therefore, I can say, Brother Paul, I can say what the songwriter said. I am free. Hallelujah. Praise God. I'm free. No longer bound. No longer chains holding me. The anointed word of God has broke the chains and set me free. I'm free. I'm free. Hallelujah. Thanks be to God. I'm free. Amen. We're going to. Uh, go further into this service and we got a young preacher that's got more energy Amen. than a generator and he is building up in him and I know he's waiting to bring us the word of God Amen. and to bring you that are at home and you that are uh, 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 in uh, watching Facebook live hallelujah as they said earlier get on your phone call a neighbor call a friend Tell them Lighthouse is on the air. Amen to God. And the Spirit of God is moving. He 
in this place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Not because of our righteousness, but because of the righteousness of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to call this preacher to come. He's no stranger to many of us. He was born here at Lighthouse. <laughs> he was born here at Lighthouse. He was birthed, hallelujah, to the church here at Lighthouse. God has put his spirit upon him and endowed him with the Holy Ghost. And have given him the ability to preach, to declare the glory of God, to preach the word of God. And we're going to call on this preacher. He's the assistant pastor here at Lighthouse. Amen. I ever wonder by him. You know him. So let us receive this preacher. And, and, and tell us, preacher, preacher. Stir, my soul. stir my soul. Give me what God gave you. Yeah. And if you give us, give us what God gave you, our soul will be renewed. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's not a friend like the lowly Jesus. No, not one. No, not one. No one else could be all oh, so easy. There. No, not one. on the day. Amen. You may be seated. Amen. In the presence of the Lord. Truly give honor to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Give honor to my pastor, Elder Levi Adams Sr., to First Lady Adams. Thank the Lord for them. Give honor to the pulpit, Evangelist Johnson, Minister Harris, Minister Wilson, and to all the deacons and every all the saints that are watching in and everyone that is at home. Give honor to my wife and my children. Truly just thank the Lord for this chance and opportunity to stand before you this day to amen. minister to you the word of God. Amen. amen, amen. If you can follow me in the book of Acts uh, from the
familiar words that us apostolics uh, live by. Uh, Acts chapter 2, verse 38. And those that are watching in, if you can uh, grab a pen and paper, I will be giving out many scriptures that I would love for you to take the time on your spare time to to look at, to read, and hopefully you'll have some questions. Amen. And that you can email us uh, your questions at lighthouseafc.com. What is it? It's at lighthouse. L-H. L-H. If you have any questions, email us at L-H. Apostolic. At A-O-L. At A-O-L. One more time. That's L H Apostolic at AOL.com. Amen. Amen. We want you to read the scriptures for yourself. And we want you to have questions where our pastor can uh, answer your questions during uh, Bible class. And he can elaborate to you the scriptures more abundantly. When you read in the book of Acts, you'll see that they search the scriptures daily. To, to make sure what was said was right and that they was on the right road when it comes to the plan of salvation and their journey to heaven. Amen? Amen. Amen. Acts chapter 2, uh, verse 38, and the King James Version, it reads, Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the remissions of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. And we can all read that together. Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remissions of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Father, we thank you, Lord, once again for allowing us to be in your presence. Truly in your presence is the fullness of joy, and thy right hand is pleasures forevermore. Lord, I pray, O oh God, that you touch right now the words that will come out of my mouth, that it will be from you, O oh God, through the move of your Holy Spirit, that those that hear your word on today will be changed, delivered, and set free. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Uh, for the subject today, I'd like to minister to you from this subject, a sure salvation. A sure amen. salvation. A sure salvation. The book of Acts, just to give you some backdrop of this book, this is the Acts of the Holy Ghost moving and the Acts of the Apostles. Uh, this is the book that talks about how the church was established, how one can get into the church. And, and when you read this book, it's a good book to read. Um, it's a book that's uh, according to history, uh, Luke was the author. He's credited as the author of this book, and he wrote to one by the name of uh, Theopius. I believe that's how you pronounce his name. Forgive me for my pronunciation. Theopolis, I believe that's how you pronounce yes, it. Theopolis. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, his, his name means a lover of God. He was one that, that loved God. And I hope that many of you that are watching in are lovers of God as well. And so, uh, Luke, he writes this letter uh, to uh, Theopolis and many of um, the born again Christians and believers, and like I said, this book is talks about the establishment of the church. Yeah. It talks about the move of the Holy Ghost. It talks about the acts of the apostles and how uh, the Spirit of God used them to go uh, and preach the Word of God in various places, starting at Jerusalem, then Samaria, and to the utmost parts of the world. Amen. And you'll find that when you read in the first chapters of this book. Hallelujah. And so, someone today that may be listening in, they may be wondering about their salvation. If, if they're on the right plan, the right role, uh, is, is God pleased with them? And there may be somebody that's just comfortable and they say, hey, I'm a believer of Christ. I'm, I'm one that, that believe in the word of God. But still, uh, you probably have not had that Pentecostal experience that the Bible talks about, that experience that they had in the upper room in Acts chapter 2, when the Spirit of God moved in that place when they was on one accord and praying, and all of a sudden, a mighty rushing wind came into that place, 
and he sat on like cloven tongues like as a fire and they all began to speak in other tongues. There are people today that feel like they don't have to speak in tongues, which is contrary to the word of God. It's contrary to the word of God. The Bible tells us that we, we, we must have the Holy Ghost. When you read here in Acts chapter 1, it tells us in the fifth, um, the fifth verse, uh, for John truly baptized with water, but he shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost not many days hence. All right. The Holy Ghost is the oh, yeah. Spirit of God. Uh -huh. It's the Spirit of God. Uh -huh. and, and it says here in verse chapter 8, Acts 1 and 8, but ye shall, be, you sh but ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you, uh -huh. and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and to the utmost parts of the world. Right. Jesus told that to his disciples. Mm -hmm. See, when Jesus taught his disciples for three and a half years, he asked them, who do men say that I am? Yeah. He wanted to make sure that they understood exactly who he was. Yeah. Because before he commissioned them to go out and preach into the utmost parts of the world, they had to understand yeah. without a shadow of doubt right, who preacher. Jesus Christ really yeah. was. Yeah. Yeah. And I want to encourage you today exactly who Jesus Christ is yeah. and, the, and the commission that he gave his, uh, 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 his, the, his disciples, which became the apostles. Mm -hmm. He gave commissioned them. And he told them, who do men say that I am? And then you'll find in Matthew, the sixth chapter, this conversation, this setting that went on in about the 18th verse. Matthew 16, uh, around the 18th verse. Uh -huh. And Jesus asked that question, who do men say that I am? Yeah. And there were some disciples that said, some say you Isaiah, some that say you're Jeremiah the prophet. Mm -hmm. and, and Jesus said, but you've been with me mm -hmm. for three and a half years. Who, who, who do you say that I am? Yes. And the statement that Peter gave was not the first time that statement was given. And when you read, I believe, uh, in, the, in the Gospel of Matthew, Nathan, Nathaniel, declared when he came into the presence of Jesus yeah. that he was the Son of the Living God. Yeah. But 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 when 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 Peter, Hallelujah, answered the, that question that Jesus Christ asked, "Who do men say that I am?" Uh, uh, Peter said, "Thou art the, the the Christ, the Son." Of the living God. Uh -huh. Jesus responded to Peter's statement. He said, Blessed art thou, uh, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood has not revealed this unto you, but my Father, which are in heaven. Yes. Hallelujah. Uh, he was, he, this, this, this revelation was revealed, hallelujah, yeah. to Peter. And Jesus said, Upon the statement that you made, Peter, mm -hmm. I'm going to build my church. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. And somebody may say, Okay, well, well. What made Christ want to build his church? During that time, they had places of worship. They had the synagogues. They would go in the synagogue, hear the priest uh, or the elder uh, uh, give, uh, rehearse the laws. Mm -hmm. but, 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 but the reason why Jesus declared that he said, I'm going to build my church is because he was not pleased with the church during that time. He was not pleased with the religious leaders and the elders during that time. Hallelujah. And so Jesus said, I'm going to build my church. Yes. Even in our, day, in our society today, we have many churches. Mm -hmm. We have uh, the Baptist church. We have well, the Methodist church. Well, we have the Presbyterian church. And, I, and I'm not knocking your faith or your religion, but all I want to show you is what's in the Bible, what's on, written preacher, in the Holy pray. Word of yeah, God yeah, yeah. so that you can make your election sure, yeah. so that you know that you have a sure Salvation. Yes. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. And so when you study, when you study um, history and, and your religion, if you're Baptist, if you're Methodist, you're Presbyterian, whatever your faith may be, you will find that the church um, was started by some man. Yeah. And here it is. You see in the scriptures that Jesus said, I'm going to build my church. Yeah. And when we, and, and you may say, well, what church did Jesus break, uh, this, uh, uh, establish, huh? You say, how can you not say that Jesus didn't establish the Catholic church and so other church? Jesus said, I'm going to establish my church. And he established his church upon the statement that Simon Barjona made. Yeah. And so when you read in the book of Acts and pertaining to this text, uh, in Acts chapter 2, verse 38, we find that Jesus authorized Peter to have the keys to the kingdom. And it is in this chapter, in this verse, where Peter preached the first apostolic message yes, that sir. affected the lives of people, that opened the church doors. And when you read in Acts chapter 2, it talks about on the day of Pentecost, 
that God poured out his spirit, fulfilling the scriptures that was prophesied by Joel. Hallelujah. That yes. he would pour out his spirit upon all flesh. Yes. All right. And he did that there on the day of Pentecost. Yes. When men from various regions came together. Hallelujah. And, and, and they was in one place. Mm. And they began to worship God. And God poured out his spirit upon all yes. flesh. And many of those people that said, are these not Galileans speaking in our own tongue? And they said, this got to be the mighty work of God. Yes. Hallelujah, yes. somebody. Yes. Talking about a sure yes. salvation. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. And once the apostles have received the understanding about who Jesus Christ really was, he commissioned them. Hallelujah. Find in Luke, uh, 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 the 24th chapter and around the 47th verse where he commissioned them to go preach uh, baptism in his name for the remission yes. of sins. Yes. Hallelujah. When it comes to receiving salvation, you got to repent. You got to be baptized. And when you truly, fully repent, the Spirit of God will automatically come in and you begin to speak yes. in a language that you was not taught. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Talking about making your election yes. sure and making sure that you have a sure foundation. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. And it's all in the Word of God. Yes. There may be somebody that said, oh, I don't believe uh, that the Bible is the word of God. I believe uh, that the Bible was written by man. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In a naturalistic approach to the word, yes, the Bible was written by men, but the scripture says in 2 Peter 1, and I believe it's the 21st verse, that yes, God used man to write the word of God, but as the spirit of God moved, men wrote. Hallelujah. They was moved by the spirit of God as they wrote the holy word of God. And I'm here to let you know that the Bible, the word of God, has stood the test of time. Yes, Hallelujah. You may say, well, uh, the Bible was translated in, uh, from, from Greek, Aramaic, and Hebrew, and, and, and they left out some things. But I'm here to let you know, whatever God wanted in his word for us to read, it is here. It is all here. Whatever he want us to receive, it is all here. Stop making excuses. Stop making excuses. Because I'm here to let you know, when you when you constantly put excuses out, hallelujah, the next thing is going to come is a lie. Hallelujah. And if you get deceived by the devil and you let the devil deceive you, woe be it unto you. Hallelujah. For God has given us pastors, some teachers, some advances for the perfecting of the church, for the perfecting of the saints, for you and I. So we can understand what God is calling for in these last and wicked days. Yes, sir. Hallelujah, yes, somebody. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. And so when you read in the book of Acts, and you read here in the book of Acts, mm. on the day of Pentecost, 3,000 souls were yeah. saved. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You find that in Acts 2 and 41. Mm. Uh, he says, and, and then that gladly received his word when Peter preached the word of God to them on the day of Pentecost when the Holy Ghost fell. He's, and then the scripture says, then they that gladly received his word were baptized. Mm -hmm. And the same day there were added unto him 3,000 souls. I'm here to tell you, man cannot put you in heaven. Man cannot put you in hell. Man don't have a hell or heaven to put you in. Only God has. And he's given that authority to Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ said that when his disciples go out and preach his word, and whoever will listen and hearken to it, I'm going to add those souls to the church. But whoever don't listen, you, you dust the dirt off your feet, and you keep on going. For better it was for those that was in Sodom and Gomorrah. I'm here to let you know if, if you don't do as the scriptures has says, yeah. whose name was not written in the Lamb Book of Life, was cast into the lake of fire. Yeah. Yeah. Souls yeah. are saved yeah. because they went out preaching and teaching while the baptism in Jesus' name. Yeah. Repent and God will fill you with his Holy Spirit. Yeah. They continue on in the apostolic doctrine. Yeah. You find that in the 42nd verse. Yes, it sir. says, and they yes, continue steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine yeah. and fellowship and in breaking of bread and in prayers. Yeah. 
That's why we live by the apostolic teaching. The apostolic doctrine is, 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 the, is, the, is the, the apostles, hallelujah, yeah. those that yeah. were chosen, the 12 that was chosen by Jesus Christ yeah. and was taught by Jesus Christ and commissioned by Jesus Christ to go into the utmost parts of the world, yeah. preaching and teaching, yeah. remission of sins and baptizing in the name yes, of sir. Jesus yes, Christ. Yes, hallelujah, yes, talking about a sure salvation. The Bible goes on and tells us, hallelujah, in Acts chapter 4, verse 12, no other name, hallelujah. What it says in Acts 4 and 12, neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved, hallelujah. See, as preachers, we can baptize you in Jesus' name, but we can't give you the Holy Ghost. Right. Only God can give you the yeah, Holy Ghost. Yeah. All we can do is encourage you to repent, to turn from your sins, to see yourself. Yeah. Hallelujah, that you are a sinner and that you must be saved. Hallelujah, yeah. through Jesus Christ. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. We got we to gotta understand that we are born in sin and shaped into iniquity. Yeah. You say, preacher, why, why you judging me? I'm not judging you. But 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 the scriptures do say we are to help one another. On, Hallelujah. Yeah. To edify one another. Yeah. To, to, to not be children of darkness, but to be children of the light. Yeah. Hallelujah. Somebody just may say, well, uh, how do I repent? Hallelujah. When you go back in Psalms 51, David. He was one that that, 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 that that can tell you that he sinned, but God forgave him. Hallelujah. The scripture talks about confession is made unto salvation. You got to confess. Hallelujah. The things that you have done wrong. Confess that I am a sinner. I need to be saved. Hallelujah. David says, somebody that wants to understand how to repent. Look at David. What David said. He said, Lord, have mercy upon me. In Psalms 51 verse 1. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness, according to the multitude of thy tender mercies. Blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquities. Cleanse me from my sins. For I acknowledge my transgressions and my sins is ever before me. Hallelujah. You got to confess that you have transgressed. You got to confess that you are a sinner. Hallelujah. Just believe, hallelujah, that Jesus can save you, yeah. hallelujah, from your sins. Yeah. David goes on to say in Psalm 51, verse 7, he said, Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Yeah. Hallelujah. In 11, verse, he said, Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Yeah. Hallelujah. See? The spirit of, uh, of Elder Perham, the spirit of Adam, hallelujah, uh, that's not the right spirit, hallelujah. We can't save ourselves. Right. One scripture tells us, hallelujah, if any man that, 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 that uh, think, it's, uh, to think that he can save himself, they fool in himself, hallelujah. You got to deny yourself, pick up your cross, walk with the Lord Jesus daily, hallelujah. And he will save you from your sins. He goes on to say, he says, Lord, and when the Lord cleans them up and saves them and sanctifies, he says, then I can teach transgressors that ways. Hallelujah. Before you go out and try to witness and tell somebody that they need to be saved through Jesus Christ, you got to make sure you get yourself right. The song says, sweep around your own front door before you try and sweep around mine. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ uh, commissioned his his disciples, hallelujah, to go in various places and teach about uh, the gospel of Jesus Christ and, and how the power of gospel will save them, hallelujah, and sanctify them, hallelujah. When it comes to understanding what it takes to be saved, when you go into the book of Acts, hallelujah, talking about the move of the Holy Ghost, hallelujah, yes, yes. talking about people that that, that, that 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 wants to get on the right path and understand what it takes to receive uh, 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 all the things that pertain to the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. There's one by the name of Philip. Hallelujah. In the eighth chapter of the book of Acts, the Bible encourages us that Philip went down to a place called Samaria. Hallelujah. And he preached Christ unto them. He preached the gospel of Jesus Christ. He preached the deliverance of Jesus Christ to the people down in Samaria. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God says, 
that I have people, hallelujah, that are not of my foe, hallelujah, that I'm going to bring into this plan of salvation, hallelujah, not just Jews, hallelujah, but Gentiles as well. And so we find Philip, hallelujah, going down to Samaria, hallelujah, a place that was mixed with a half-breeds of Jews and Gentiles, hallelujah, preaching and about Christ unto them, hallelujah. And he says, and the people with one accord, hallelujah, in Acts 8 and 6, and the people with one accord gave heed up to those things which Peter spake, hearing and seeing the miracles which he did. Hallelujah. The move of the Holy Spirit was bringing power. Hallelujah. Of miracles over in Samaria. And he says, unclean spirits crying with loud voices came out of meaning that was possessed with them. Yes. Many taken with uh, 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 palsies, yes. uh, had many illnesses and, 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 and sicknesses, hallelujah, and those that was lame, hallelujah, wasn't able to walk, hallelujah, those had, that was blindnesses, that was, had, was blinded, hallelujah, uh, and the Bible says they were healed, hallelujah, healed because he preached Christ unto them, hallelujah. The power of the Holy Ghost was moving in Samaria. Yes. Hallelujah. And the Bible says in the 8th verse, and there was a great joy in that city. Well, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And it says, but there was a certain man. There was, there's going to be people, hallelujah, that's going to kind, that's going to try to uh, uh, get you to not believe on the apostolic doctrine. And that's why, as the, as the servant of the Lord, I'm giving you scriptures so you can read these scriptures. Yeah. Hallelujah. And it says there was one by name of Simon, hallelujah, that was in that city who was a sorcerer, hallelujah. Uh, he was one that was there in Samaria seeing the mighty works of God, hallelujah. Uh, even this man himself, hallelujah, needed to be saved like many people that are out there today. You have, you have false prophets. You have uh, sheep with wolf and clothes. He gallant God's people, hallelujah. Telling them, oh, you're saved. You don't take all that. You don't need the Holy Ghost and all those things. Don't let them tell you those things. Search the scriptures for yourself. Stop being a simple-minded person. The Bible, the proverb rather said, a simple-minded person see trouble ahead and they walk right into trouble. You're not a simple-minded person. You are you a are smart, intelligent young person. You're a person that's going to go home, that's at home, and you're going to write these scriptures yeah. down, and you're going to read these scriptures, yeah. you're going to study these scriptures, you're going to write questions, you're going to email us, yeah. and we're going to answer your questions, and you're going to be edified in the yeah. word of God. Yeah. In Acts 8 and 12, he says, but when they believe, hallelujah, they believe, Philip, when he preached Jesus unto them, and yeah. things concerning the kingdom of God, and the name of Jesus Christ, and they was baptized, both men and women. Yeah. See, you got to be baptized. You got to be baptized. Oh, yeah. And those people in Samaria, not only was they baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, but 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 later on, you read in the 14th verse, yes, they sir. received the Holy yes, Ghost. Yes, they did. Hallelujah. It was a different, uh, different day, uh, but nevertheless... Uh, not too soon after Philip was there, uh, Peter and uh, Apostle Peter and Apostle John, they came in Samaria. And it says in the scriptures, now when the apostles were at Jerusalem, they heard that Samaria has received the word of God. And they sent unto them Peter and John, who when they were come down, prayed for them that they might receive the Holy Ghost. See, the scripture says it. You need the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Hallelujah. With the yes, evidence of yes, speaking in tongues. Yeah. As the Spirit of God give utterance. Hallelujah. Yeah. And it says that they laid hands on them and they received the Holy Ghost. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. 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 I know we are creatures of time, but I want to give you some scriptures to read. Hallelujah. On your own time. Uh, Acts chapter 9 verse 17 you find how Apostle Paul, he received his sight. He was filled with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Um, you go into Acts, the 10th chapter, the, uh, the, the 43rd verse. It talks about uh, a, a Gentile uh, by the name of Cornelius and his family. They got saved. They got baptized in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Um, and you read it uh, in Acts 11, the 26th chapter, it talks about uh, when they was first called Christians in Antioch, yeah. hallelujah, because they was Christ-like. They had the Spirit of God, hallelujah. They was born again of the water and of the Spirit, yeah. hallelujah. And yeah. you go on to 
uh, Acts, the, tw the Acts, the, um, the 14th chapter, the 27th verse, it talks about how the doors was open, hallelujah, to the Gentiles. And when they were come and had gathered the church together, they rehearsed all that God had done with them and how he had opened the door of faith unto the Gentiles. Hallelujah. God did not forget about the Gentile church. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. And all the churches was established in faith and increased in number daily in Acts 16 and 5. Hallelujah. Jesus. And you go over into Acts the 17th chapter. Hallelujah. Amen. It talks about how uh, Acts 17 and 2 and Paul at, as his manner was uh, went unto them and three Sabbath days reasoned with them of the scriptures. Just as I'm doing now, I'm reasoning with you of the scriptures. I'm not condoning you. I'm not condemning you. I'm not putting you down. I'm not making myself of no reputation. I'm not trying to make myself better than you. All I'm saying is you got to have the Pentecost experience. You got to make sure that you have a sure foundation. Yeah. I want to reason with you with the scriptures. Yeah. I want you to believe on the word of God yes. because the truth shall make you free. Hallelujah. Read that in John the 8th chapter. Hallelujah. And so when you go on to Acts 17, 11, those, those that Apostle Paul was reasoning with in the scriptures, this is what they did. He said, and there uh, were more noble than those in Thessalonica. And in that they received the word with all readiness of mind and searched the scriptures daily, whether those things were so. You got to search the scriptures. Yes, search sir. the scriptures. Yes, Make sure your, your election is sure. Hallelujah. Yeah. And so, uh, in Acts 19, hallelujah, uh, just in case there's someone that may say, well, I'm a Christian, I'm doing good, but I'm here to let you know, if you don't have the Pentecost experience, you you, you got to come up a little bit higher. God wants to increase you in him, hallelujah. You can be going through the, the traditions of knowing all the hymn songs. You may be doing a good work, feeding the homeless. You may be taking care of those that are in need. You may that, and, and that's all good. Amen. You're showing the spirit of Christ. You're loving your neighbor as, as Christ wants us to do. To love our neighbors, to, to help those that are in need. But 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 you but 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 here the Bible talks about some uh, there was some men that was having service. They was they was praying, they was uh, uh, singing and, and, and fellowship with one another, having a little church. And Paul came across these men and he had asked them a question, trying to help them. Hallelujah. Receive the power of the Holy yeah. Ghost. Yeah. Hallelujah. Making sure that they had an understanding that they had a sure foundation. Yeah. In Acts 19, hallelujah, verse 1, it says, And it came to pass that while yeah. Apollos was at Corinth, Paul, having passed through the upper coast, came to a place called Ephesus, well, finding yeah. certain yeah. disciples, men yeah. that was followers of Christ. Yeah. He said unto them, Had ye received the Holy Ghost yeah. since you believed? Yeah. Hallelujah. And then what they say, and they said unto them, uh, we have not so much as heard whether there be any Holy Ghost. Oh, yeah. And he said unto them, until what then were ye baptized? And they said unto John baptism. Mm -hmm. and, and, and then said Paul, John barely baptized with baptism unto repentance, mm -hmm. saying unto the people that they should believe on him which should come after him that is on Christ Jesus. Yes. And when they heard this, they was baptized in what name? In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You said, well, preacher, preacher, the scripture contradicts itself. The scriptures don't contradict itself. Amen. Scripture bag up scripture. Amen. You just may not have the understanding of the scripture. That's why you have to sit in the council of God. That's why God have men in place such as our pastor, the Levi Adams, and such as those that sit under our pastor, people that have yeah. uh, have counsel, has sat under godly counsel and received rightly dividing the word of truth of the word of God. Yeah. Hallelujah. When it comes to baptism, when it comes to salvation and making your election sure, hallelujah. Yes, I know the scripture that talks about uh, baptizing in the Father and the Son of the Holy Ghost. I'm a father. I have two children. I'm also a son. I have a mother and I have a father. But what's the distinction in, in, in those titles? Hallelujah. There's no salvation in titles. There's only salvation in the name of Jesus Christ. The scripture said it in Acts 4 and 12. Hallelujah. And so I want us to reason together. I want us to get an understanding because it's in the word of God. This is not me saying. This is the scripture speaking for itself. Hallelujah. They was baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. 
And when Paul had laid his hands on them, the Holy Ghost came on them and they spoke with tongues and they prophesied. Yes. See, yes, sir. You, this, this not only went in, on in the book of Acts, but it's also for the church today. All right. Hallelujah. All right. We're in the Gentile yeah. age. We're in the church yeah. age. This is yeah. for us today. I'm not going to tell you anything that I have not experienced for myself. Oh, hallelujah. In closing, I want you to understand, hallelujah, that you must be born again yeah. of the yeah. water and of the spirit. Yeah. I hope these scriptures have been enlightening to you. Yes. There's many more scriptures that I can give in the book of Acts. Hallelujah. When Apostle Paul uh, went over and preached unto the Philippian jailer, the Philippian jailer and his household was saved, received the Holy Ghost, and was baptized in Jesus' name. There was a woman uh, from Cilicia. She was baptized in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. The Bible, it, 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 it makes it plain for you and I today. All we have to do is humble ourselves and receive the word of God. It comes to, to, to teach us, to reprove us, to educate us, Hallelujah. to save us. Hallelujah. Yeah. That's power in the word of God. Yeah. It has stood the test of time. And I hope that you 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 call us, you email us. You can call us at 773, uh, what is it, 488-5696. Leave us a voicemail. You know, let us know what's your phone number, whatever questions you may have. We will get back to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're here to help one another. We're on our way to heaven like our pastor always tells us. And we want to help you get there too. We want to help you get on the right track. It's not going to be easy. I'm not here to tell you once you get saved and get into the church, it's going to be all fandy and dandy. But at least that you will have the grace of God. Yes. On your side. Yes. And God did not die for us to continue in sin. Yes. Hallelujah. You can't go out here and sin and say, Lord, forgive me. Keep on sin. Well, you said, well, the Bible says that a righteous man falls seven times. The Lord will pick him up again. I'm going to hear you also reap what you sow. You hear me? Right. Just like Apostle Paul, he had to reap what he sow. And what did Jesus say? He's going to suffer many things yes, for my name's sake. So don't be a fool. Don't be gullible. You know, yes. get right. When you yes. walk with God with a pure and true heart. Yes. And we encourage you to get yourself together so that you can get on the right track and that you can be a witness for Jesus Christ, that he can use you, and that you can go into your, your family, into your neighborhoods, preach and teach with the power of the Holy Ghost, and you can you will have that Pentecost experience, and you can give your testimony, and, and, and other people can be saved. Yeah. Hallelujah. Just like that Ethiopian. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He went over there, uh, I believe it was Philip, he preached to the Ethiopian. Hallelujah. The Ethiopian was reading Isaiah, I believe, the 53rd chapter. Uh -huh. yeah. Hallelujah. And, and he, he didn't understand what he was reading. Mm -hmm. And so Philip preached to him where he left off reading. And, he, and the Ethiopian said with his own mouth, he said, what forbid me to be baptized in Jesus' name? Well. And so God made a way. There was a water, yes, yes. and he submerged him, baptized him, submerged yes. him. He didn't speak in him. He was submerged, hallelujah, yes. baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the yes. missions of sin. Yes. And Jesus Christ is not going to tell us to do something that he didn't do himself. Right. And you'll find that out. Yes. Jesus was baptized by yes. John the Baptist. Yes. And John the Baptist confessed that he seen the spirit of God come down in the body form of sin upon Jesus uh, like a dove. Yes. And he heard God say, this is my son, and who I am well pleased. Yeah, hallelujah. So, so, so. We, we know where we're going. We know what we believe. And we're on the right road, and we want to get you on the right track. Yeah. God bless you. And like our pastor say, may heaven smile upon you. In Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. Amen. Amen.